Oh, guys, thank you for having jobs. Um, I'm assuming you do. I don't fucking know. You're here. Maybe you robbed somebody. But I was just thinking about that, how long it's been since I've had a job and how I absolutely could not get one right now. <laughs> like, like, if I went into a place and gave them my resume, they'd be like, hey, what's with this 13-year gap on here, man? And I'd be like, what's with all those questions, dude? Chill out, you know? <laughs> I mean, if I had to get a job, I think I would just go for a job where no one knows what the fuck I'm talking about, so I could just make shit up. Because there's a few of those. Like, the spokesman for an arson investigation. Um, arson means fire, by the way. I'm seeing a lot of blank faces. And <laughs> it's amazing. You can see them online. Like, a guy comes out to a podium, and there's a mic, and there's news people around, and it's like a burned down building behind, and he's just like, hey, that shit burned down. <laughs> and they're like, could you tell us a little more? And he's like, what? Like, totally aggravated. What do you want to know? And they go, well, how did it start? And he goes, it was a match. <laughs> and they go, how do you know? We found it. <laughs> it, like is one, there's other matches. And he's like, mm. <laughs> this one. <laughs> and they go, how do you know that's the match? Just complicated fire shit, man. You wouldn't understand any of it. <laughs> Thing is, man, I miss zero part of having a day job. That's the truth. I miss zero part. The only part I still miss is spreading rumors and gossip about people that work there. <laughs> That's the fucking best. It is. I remember. Going to work sucks. That's universal. Don't act. I mean, shit. Most of you will have it on Monday. Fucking the alarm goes off and you go, mother fucker. <laughs> Today's going to suck. but I'm gonna talk shit about Amanda when I get there. And then that <laughs> raises your spirit, right? And you're like, you think about that in the shower, you're like, I'm gonna ruin Amanda's day today. <laughs> this is for you, Amanda. Ah. <laughs> the fucked up thing is people making you feel badly for enjoying that. You shouldn't feel badly for enjoying gossip. It's 100% normal and natural to, because it's definitely an extension of childhood. Because all of us, when we were kids, and all kids now, for a certain period of time, the worst storytellers ever, okay? You don't know shit about editing information, enhancing things, keeping people's interests. So every, look, you don't have to have a kid to know about this. Talk to any kid, a friend's kid, a niece, a nephew. It's when you go to a kid, you go like, hey, uh, were you outside? And they go, yeah. And you're like, why don't you dial that back? That was crazy, okay? <laughs> and then you ask one question, like, how was that? And they go, I have, when, Je when Jeanette came by, she, she, didn't, she brought the yellow cup that she didn't want to kick the ball back. But I said, can, if, because Brian's cup is red, that if you, if you, if you don't, if you don't have it now, then you don't, you don't have to bring the blue, the, because the blue one that Jane had was with her. I said, if you don't have it, you can, you can use mine now, but then, and then, then next, it's my turn. You go, that was a great fucking story. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and then, kids accidentally tell their first good story. They don't mean to. It's an accident. That's why it leaves an impact. Because you go, were you at the park? And they go, yeah. And you go, well, how was that? And they go, I saw Uncle Jeff. He had a lady sitting on his lap, but it wasn't Aunt Maria. And you're like, what? <laughs> and the kid's like, shit, I've never seen that fucking face before. <laughs> and you're like, that's a good story. <laughs> go find more stories like that. <laughs> that's burned into your psyche. That's why you go to work, you see your coworker, you're like, hey, I got some juice. And they're like, is it going to negatively impact somebody's life? <laughs> yeah. And they're like, fucking hook that shit up! I've spread so many fucking rumors. My favorite part about rumors, nobody verifies shit. 
somebody says something once, and you're like, cool, I'll roll with that forever. Thanks, man. Like, <laughs> they're like, are you gonna fact check that? And you're like, why? Wow, you said it out loud. I don't have to check anything out. Like, <laughs> it's now a fact, so whatever. It's really, a, it's a seed, right? It's a seed. You ever, you ever be a part of one that just grows? I remember years ago, I'm watching a movie with my dad. In the middle of the movie, the actor Tommy Lee Jones appears on screen. Great actor, Oscar winner. Unprompted, my dad turns to me and he goes, did you know he was gay? And I was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> now, it doesn't matter, and I don't care. But I decided I would tell everyone I ever met for the rest of my life <laughs> that Tommy Lee Jones is gay. I told a lot of people. Like, from the fugitive through no country for old men. I told everybody. <laughs> Until one day I told somebody and he goes, no, he isn't. And I was like, yeah, he is. And he goes, how do you know that? And I said, my dad told me. And he goes, what, did your dad fuck him or something? And I was like, I don't think so. And then he goes, I've known him 40 years. I know his wife and kids. I knew him when he was single. He is not gay. And I go, what is happening right now? <laughs> and I called my dad immediately. And I was like, Dad! I just got confirmation that Tommy Lee Jones isn't gay. And my dad goes, oh, I thought he was. <laughs> Is that the end of your investigation? Are you fucking serious? Why did you tell me that? He goes, I don't know. I said, did somebody tell you? He goes, I can't remember. I said, have you been telling everybody for 15 years that Tommy Lee Jones is gay? And he goes, yep. And I go, don't you think we should stop? And he goes, now we should. <laughs> Made that shit up.